Hey, good morning. This is Clay with Clay's AC and Auto Repair and Broke Down Auto. If this video is helpful. Please like, share, comment, most of all, subscribe. Uh, if you want to earn me a couple extra cents, turn the volume down on your computer and let my videos play. Remember, if anybody else can do it, you can do it too. So today we've actually got a Chevy Silverado 2500. We did a crap ton of front end work to this thing. Um, what we've got going on is we've got a steering wheel that's cocked out of the way. Now I could take this up and have an alignment done on it, but I wanted to show you guys how to do this in your driveway. Uh, this is pretty common for any rack and pinion tile steering. Uh, this wouldn't work on like Jeep Wranglers and stuff, but um, pretty much rack and pinion. Uh, Chevy Silverados, wouldn't matter if you have a Ford Escort or whatever it is. If it has a rack and pinion, you're gonna pretty much do it the same way. If you've done some tie rods and stuff in your driveway, this is the problem that you're going to run into. You might have a cock steering wheel and you might be thinking, well, shoot, I'm a little bit on a budget. I need to get this fixed myself. I've already done all this work, um, whatever. So I'm going to do this myself in my driveway, but just to show you mostly uh, what's going to end up happening is I'm probably going to end up taking it to the alignment stop shop still because I want the tires to be true because they're really good. So this can be very deceiving. Your steering wheel is pointed to the right but it's probably your left tire. It's just like when you have a, a low tire, it'll pull to the right, but it's actually probably a left tire that's low. So what you wanna do is, in this case, I'm gonna leave it this way just, just for a second so I can show you this. Now the Egyptians, when they built the pyramids, they did it with a plumb bob. And I don't know if you can see down the side of this truck, and that tire looks like it's cocked off to the side a little bit, but I've already done this. If that tire was straight, which it will be here in a moment, and I'll show you, uh, you would turn it straight. But see, my problem is, is it's to the right, so I know I need to adjust the left outer tie rod. We replaced it, so I know it's new, so I'm gonna turn it back to the straight. Sorry for the long video. I'll try to make them as short as possible. So I'm gonna get that sucker to where it's sitting straight and where I like it. And then I've got a, a 13 millimeter, a set of channel locks, and a 22 millimeter. Now, you can see that tire is parallel with that truck. My steering wheel straight. You also want to keep this on a level ground. Now, you can definitely, you should be able to see this from the video, that tire is cocked out. So what we're going to do is we're going to loosen up the jam nut and show okay. you how to do this. So now we're underneath the truck. We are gonna take our 22 millimeter and we're gonna loosen up the big nut on the outside right there. Or a seven eighths. So we loosen that up and you gotta understand these are fine threads so they're gonna move really, really slow. You know, loosen that up and then you're gonna take your 13 millimeter and you're gonna turn this. With mine, I had a little bit, it, it's cold outside. It's about 50 degrees this morning, so the metal was really cold, so I had to heat it up a little bit to move it. That's not generally the case, especially if you have brand new parts. And uh, I slipped off with my 13 millimeter, so I ended up using some channel locks. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn that out. Once we turn it out, we're gonna look down the side, just like we did before, just like I told you the Egyptians did. I think that's pretty straight. And even if it's not, I'm gonna leave it about there. I'd rather tow out just a little bit than tow in too much. Hey, if this video is helpful, please like, share, comment. Most of all, subscribe. And remember, if anybody else can do it, you can do it too. Have a great day.